Recently, at a state banquet at the anniversary of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP's establishment, Chinese President Xi Jinping looked solemn and tired. His speech also made people feel his anxiety. He emphasized that the road underfoot will not be smooth, revealing an unusual message. Observers believe China faces severe internal and external challenges in many fields, such as economics, politics, society, etc. Xi Jinping warned, tough times ahead. Political observers have noticed that, as a supreme leader, Xi Jinping usually only gives speeches in years ending in zero or five. In the past 10 years, he has given a total of two speeches. The rest are speeches by former Prime Minister Li Kuxiang. But on this 74th anniversary, not a year ending in zero or five, current Prime Minister Li Qiang did not speak. Furthermore, from the footage released by state media, Xi Jinping could be seen as having a stern expression, and some people who should have not been present were absent. For example, two close confidants that she promoted after the 20th National Congress, former Foreign Minister Xin Gang and Defense Minister Li Shangfu, were both absent. Former Defense Minister Wai Fenghu was also not seen. On October 2nd, RFI published an analysis saying some experts believe Xi Jinping's speech was a warning, showing that he is facing the risks and challenges of internal and external troubles and is under pressure. China is facing difficulties internationally after many years of confrontation with the U.S., Domestically, its economy has recovered slowly, the youth unemployment rate remains high, real estate prices have declined, and people's assets have seriously shrunk. The arrest of Evergrande chairman Hui Kayan is also one of the latest bad omens, and several CCP high-ranking officials disappeared one after another, showing the internal affairs of Xi Jinping's regime are not as stable as the outside world imagines. Among all the problems at home and abroad, analysis generally say weak economic recovery is the most significant difficulty facing the Xi Jinping government. There is a general perception that China's economic growth rate this year will not reach the 5% annual target set by Beijing. Japanese investment bank Nomura Holdings slightly raised China's GDP growth forecast this year from 4.6% to 4.8% on September 28, but the growth forecast for 2024 remains at a low level of 3.9%. Nomura believes, due to the impact of the real estate market, weak exports, and weak private enterprise confidence, China's economy will continue to stagnate or even worsen in the coming months. According to statistics from Taiwan's CNA, at least 76 international financial experts and six multinational investment organizations agree that China's economic growth rate in 2023 and 2024 will be lower than expected. In the current situation, she considers economic issues a top priority. Analysis, there is no longer a smooth road, big waves and strong winds are coming. Ren Zhangdao, a researcher at the overseas think tank Tianjun Politics and Economics, said it is an indisputable fact that funds continue to escape China. Besides the flight of foreign funds, China's domestic funds are also fleeing abroad. Looking back at official data, we could see that large-scale capital flight occurred in 2014 to 2016 and 2020 to 2022. It exceeded $200 billion each time, so much so that Xi Jinping had to urge all departments to resolutely maintain the bottom line in preventing systematic financial risks. Xi Jinping's report on the 20th National Congress last October said China must be prepared to confront great challenges. It could be seen that the rapid and large-scale capital overflow that threatened the safety of China's financial system to the point that Xi Jinping's words and attitude have changed a lot. He once said, I have always supported private enterprises and I have worked in places where private economy is relatively developed. Ren Zhangdao said that Xi Jinping hopes to strengthen the position of state-owned enterprises in the economy to control the Chinese economy better. Otherwise, he would not have stated, Nationalized enterprises are to strengthen the comprehensive strength of the country. We need to be confident, do it strong, do it well, do it big. In Xi's mind, political stability is an essential prerequisite for China's economic development, so he tries to ensure political stability by strengthening control over state-owned enterprises. Because, after all, officials of state-owned enterprises also have administrative ranks and are even appointed by the CCP Central Committee. In Xi's view, the strategy is necessary because the Chinese economy has developed to a stage where it must be more unified and orderly to cope with what he calls massive changes not seen in a century. China's private economy is struggling. The country's future is evident. The CCP and the economic community generally believe the private economy in China's economy plays a 56789 role, meaning the private economy contributes 50% of tax revenue, 60% of GDP, 70% of technological innovation achievements, 80% of urban workers, and 90% of the number of enterprises. 
Over the past six months, the Chinese government and its media have continuously praised the private economy. Financial Times said the reason is that, in economic terms, the main goal of Beijing is to restore China's slowing economic growth rate, improve people's livelihoods, and stabilize the troubled real estate market while also finding ways to support the financial and debt crisis of dozens of local governments. However, analysts say that this only makes private enterprises like sheep waiting to be slaughtered. While local governments attract investments, they promise to provide comfortable conditions and environments for private enterprises. However, after some companies invest vast amounts of money to start operations, local governments often use many reasons to backtrack or even turn their faces, and the initial promises become empty, making some companies fall into difficult situations. The government is too playful with the law. Officials only need one word to break it, and companies must follow their requests. Otherwise, they face heavy punishment.